I don't know what to do. That's annoying! It looks terrible. We're hiding these. Ow! What is going on here? This is a joke. Where's the dish? This should be really obvious. Oh dear, oh dear. Hello, boys. Hello, Janice. Hello, Janice. Today's theme will be revealed after you pick today's order. Thanks to community member David for that suggestion. I'm not going last. I went last last time. I went first and last last time. Should come first. Oh. oh what well, are you doing? It's just got interesting. Confidence. You guys. You know, a second. All right. I'll, I'll follow your confidence. Cool. Third. Well, that doesn't leave me in many other positions. Well, there we go. Decided. What are we doing, though? Oh, oh we're making <laughs> afternoon tea. Today's theme is afternoon tea. You must create three different types of sandwiches, some scones and a homemade jam, and a top tier of sweet treats. Don't forget, no afternoon tea is complete without the tea itself. You have 15 minutes each, which gives you an hour in total. Good luck. That is a lot to get done, Janice, in an hour. Shall we? Be back in 45 minutes, boys. Don't let me down. <laughs> How do you make scones? I don't know. Right. That thing is everything to get us started. So, I know what you're thinking. Everyone thinks I'm just going to come in and make sandwiches and I would love to make sandwiches because I make a really good sandwich but if we're going to get this done I'm going to have to start with the scones. So dry fruit into a bowl. I am not used to making scones. I need to make sure these aren't heavy or rubbish. These need to be really great. Come on breadcrumb consistency, breadcrumb consistency, work fingers work. Say, oh, oh no. <laughs> right I haven't got time. Right oh this is so dirty. Uh, <laughs> Cut the butter, did that, stir through the caster sugar. One heaps tablespoon. I'm using a sorted food recipe, but it's not from one of our books. It's just from our website from ages ago. Crack in the egg, pour in the milk, and then with a the table knife, stir to bring it all together. All right, oh yeah. My favorite part of an afternoon tea is when you get something unexpected. That is the mark of a really good afternoon tea is where it can surprise you. Press into a lump about two centimeters deep on a floured surface. Okay, it's like a dough. And cut out six centimetre circles with a cutter. Janice, this could be working. Nice. Brush the tops of the scones with a little milk. That's fine. It's all right. Right, done. 10 to 12 minutes until they are risen, golden, and tapped from beneath, they sound hollow. Timer, 10 minutes. All right, quick clear down. Now, what sweet treats could we go? Like a tray bake that we could then cut up. What about like a chocolate brownie? Oh, <gasps> clad caca. Yes, let's do a clad caca. Right, come on, two, three quarter minutes. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Smeary, smeary. Yummy, yummy. Breadcrumbs, pow, 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 pow. Oh, look at that. These are professional boys. It's probably fair to say, I've never had a clad caca at an afternoon tea before, but, this is what I mean. Make it interesting. Make it different. Has Janice ever had a clad hacker at an afternoon tea? No, she probably hasn't. Does she want one? She probably does. She just doesn't know it yet. Right. I guess it hinges on whether it's been patted with tepid milk from your clammy cupped hand. Okay. Well, that was 15 minutes. What am I going to score myself? Should we be confident? I like this confidence. Eight and a half. Barry! Right, okay. There is something in the oven. Okay, so he's got some berries. A, oh my, he has, a, he has a distinct plan here. He's not left me a recipe or anything. I don't know what he's making. It's a timer, a timer's gone off. A timer for what? I can't get those out of the oven yet. Are they done? They can't be done. Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. They look done. I'm gonna assume that the alarm is for the scones. Um, I have to make a jam of some sort. Oh no, oh no. Okay, um, we'll go for some berries in here with some sugar and a splash of water. And then see what happens to that. Let us stew down. 
Jam on the go. Scones cooling down on a rack. Do I make sandwiches or do I make, I've got to make a dessert? Okay, right, yeah, all right. Okay, so plan is, I'm just gonna make some tiny little pastry using some pre-made puff pastry. I am completely ignoring what Jamie did because I have no idea where he's going. I don't know what that's about. I like the idea of doing mini tarts at the top. Strawberry puff pastry things so we can fill them with a bit of cream, maybe with strawberry on top. See, for me, the best bit of afternoon tea is a little sweet treat at the end. Looks fancy, but really simple. So I'm just gonna dock these as well to stop the middle bit rising too much. And then into the oven. Three minutes. What was that for, Jamie? I don't know, I'm sorry, mate. I'm not following your idea. Let's do some sweetened cream. Okay. Go, 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 go. This is all I can do now, whisk. Come on! Damn. I'm gonna give myself a, so a solid six. Mic's up. Oh dear. What have we got? Okay, we've got sweet. We've got some jam. It's boiling. Oh dear. Woo. Okay, that's got cool. Scones. There's something in the oven. Oh my goodness, they actually look all right. What on earth are they though? Cool. Okay, so they look like they're browning on the top, so I'm just gonna knock that down a little bit. I think we're just gonna have to get this jam chilling as quickly as possible because it's quite literally got 25 minutes before it's got to be jam. Now I don't want to put this straight into the freezer, so I'm going to leave it a little bit. I'm just going to get on and do something while I think. We're all right. We're in that horrible situation where I can only mess this up. I need to get those out, pipe some sweetened cream. Oh, I could use some of that jam. I could use some of the jam in here. Here we go. There we go. Lovely. Cool. This is going in the freezer now. It's cool enough not to melt everything in here. So this should be quite nice. I will add powdered sugar to this, but I just want to get colour. How's this tasting? It's sweet, it's strawberry-ish. It will do. Mmm, strawberry flavoured raspberries. That's new. Okay, oh! Yes, they are done. Nice, okay, okay. We've got something there. I'm just going to hold these. 15 minutes is a little bit better because it means that I can have five minutes of pure panic and still potentially get some stuff done. Didn't put a nozzle in it. Never mind. I'm just gonna start tidying up for him because he's gonna have to make three sandwiches, let's be honest. <laughs> okay, here's an experimental one. Let's see if this works. I mean, that's something something, isn't it? If I can do those before he arrives, that's great. And just give him sandwiches and tea to do. Come on, Mike, think about your friend. Think of your friend. Right, let's, let's do sandwiches. Oh, I love a bit of prawn mayo. Maybe we'll do some of that. Oh, afternoon tea's amazing. It's just basically uh, an opportunity, if you select correctly, to get bottomless Prosecco sandwiches and cakes. And it's wonderful. I'm gonna mix up the prawns and the mayo. There's some ham over there, some mustard. I just feel like Ebers will want to do something a little bit better than that. He'll be able to take it a bit further. So I don't want to lead him too much down a pathway by actually starting to serve stuff. Yes, these have cooled now. Look how much pass it on stresses me out and makes me shake. Pop these up, put them over with the stuff that's already done. I mean, I've done my best. Ebers! He's forgotten to score himself. The shaky little sausage. Forty-five minutes have passed, just fifteen minutes left. Right, what we got? They look rather nice. Scone's a bit flat, but cool. Could you put the kettle on, please, Janice? Do I need to make a jam? Christ. Oh no, that is a jam. Jam's in the fridge. Good, right. I think I've just got to make tea and sandwiches, which is excellent. So I think the normals have done pretty well if they've got pastries and scones and I hope jam in the fridge. We'll find that later. Kettle on, I'll make the tea right at the end. Sandwich fillings can be simple, but classic. Prawn is good. I'm gonna guess mayonnaise. At the moment, that's just very cloying with mayonnaise. It needs some acidity. It needs some of that and it needs something green. An afternoon tea for me is finesse. Simple food, but done really well. And that's not the nature of Pass It On, is having the time to do the finesse. I'm more of a plowman's at a pub kind of guy than an afternoon tea in a hotel. Salmon, watercress, lemon, black pepper, and some creme fraiche. I really hope there's jam. I've seen the pan, but I've not looked in the fridge. I'll explain what I'm doing if it works. How about that? 
My other job is to make tea, which is notoriously not something I'm very good at. Oolong, that's very Janice. At least by popping them on here, it looks like we're making progress, right? Five of everything's four of us plus Janice. Nice. Sandwich filling number one. Generous, well seasoned, hopefully classic flavours, but with a little twist. And our poor mayo. I might have time to do a fourth flavour. Strain the tea. And now this tea goes into our teapot and we'll top it up for about a five minute brew. Four minutes left, still need to find a jam. This is not how you make egg sandwiches, all right? But to boil eggs and then peel eggs, I would not have had time. So what I did instead was crack them into water and kind of poach them. Now they're cooked, possibly make a quick egg cress sandwich. A Little bit of pretentious mustard, egg mustard cress mayo. In the last few seconds, I'm gonna whack that on. Please be some jam somewhere. There must be some jam somewhere. Woof! Looks more like a kind of compote that's frozen as opposed to a jam. Well, I can't make jam in 60 seconds, so that's gonna have to go and we'll talk about it at the table. 30 seconds. Afternoon tea, done? Oh, I only did the sandwiches in 15 minutes. Seven. Okay, boys, mm. afternoon tea <laughs> is served if you lift your blindfolds in three, two, one. Bad little team effort, that boys. That is it's great. not bad. It looks good. I'm nervous as we start to unravel. Yeah, I'm, I'm very, very nervous. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Do you want tea? Oh yes, please. Pour Bang the on. tea slowly. What what tea have we gone for? Oolong. Oh nice. So sandwiches, savoury, cream cheese and cucumber, classic prawn Mary Rose, egg and mustard cress, and salmon and watercress. Upper level, scones or scones with some raspberry juice and pastries. Grab a sandwich. What I like about afternoon tea is slowly picking across the course of a pot of tea. Sandwiches first. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, egg watercress with a hint of mustard in there. I've got a whole prawn in this little part of my sandwich. They were massive. That's amazing. <laughs> that bottom layer you've absolutely nailed, which means everything up here is all normal. <laughs> Scones? <laughs> oh, no. They're quite thin to slice, aren't they? They were a bit flat. A bit biscuity. They are cooked through, they just haven't risen. I think it possibly lacking in baking powder or raising agent, maybe. Or perhaps just too thin. You know, you want a good sort of three, four centimetres before they go in the oven. I take it back because I, I turned my nose up at this when I found a tray of frozen raspberries in the freezer because it looked like frozen slush. Now that it's defrosted, it's jammy, it's shiny, it's glossy. It frozen. Scones. 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 Cheers. Cheers. I quite like the biscuity nature mm. of this scone. A bit of a bite. It's fluffy in the inside though. Mm. It, it, it's, it is a scone more than anything else. It's just a bit flat. Let's be honest, boys. When I walked into the kitchen, I didn't know how to make scones. I had to look up a recipe and I had to just do it as quickly as I possibly could. Got rid of all of the mess and then started on my clad caca. <laughs> that Swedish brownie that like needs to set for a few hours. Yeah, and then you can cut it into cubes and it's beautiful to have on the top. <laughs> Thank you. Who did you bin that off when you got in? I couldn't work out what the hell was going on. It's fine. It all worked out for the best. It did. It really did. What? No, what? I don't mean that. No, it did. It all worked out regardless. Clad mm. caca would be a nice choice. It does just need a long time to set up. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Good colour on the pastry, cooked through. Mm. That is a good strawberry volume. on. It is, isn't it? It's very nice. What I like is we did simple and we nailed it. Rather than try and go too complex and actually do everything so like meh, each layer kind of works. I feel like it's a fairly good result. I had to decide whether I'd screwed up the scones or made a really good job of them before they were cooked. That is hard to judge yourself <laughs> on that, isn't it? It's <laughs> a wonderful thing. Eight and a half out of ten. Eight and a half. Okay. Yeah. That's a pass to me. Mm -hmm. I think that is three levels of pass. I'm really happy with that play. I feel like we, we could have pushed ourselves harder, so I gave myself a six. But it's, it's a pass as well. I would give myself a seven. It's definitely a pass. I mean, I basically made sandwiches in a pot of tea. 
<laughs> um, so I gave myself a seven, and actually, in an hour, I think that's really quite impressive, and I think there's tiny tweaks you could do to each of it, but if that rocked up at an afternoon tea that a mate's made for you, mm. great. Yeah. Mm. That's a pass. Absolutely. Well done, lads. Everyone. Yeah. Bravo. Well, thank you so much for the suggestion of afternoon tea, guys. Also, thank you to David for your order suggestion. Please keep them coming. Comment down below. And if you'd like to be invited to our afternoon tea, <laughs> give the video a like. <laughs> That's an empty promise. If you have any more ideas for Pass It On, then send us some ideas on Twitter with the hashtag Sorted Pass It On. Take the hassle out of your midweek cooking while saving money, reducing your food waste, and using chefy shortcuts to cook like a pro. Check out our five-star rated Meal Packs app for a whole month free. Link below. During that, the microphone fell down my pocket because my pocket's got a hole in it down to here and it's pulling against my, my leg hairs. It really <laughs> hurts.